Oh, onwards we go. This is the right idea for the boss. I always clear souls out before I do it. I got the item there, good. Just double checking. Come down here, up here, up here. Deal away with him. Round the back of him. It's not exactly the shortest boss route, but it's the route that has the least hassle. Less likely to die, less likely to um, take huge damage. Drop down here, kick him in the head, and then roll your way past these guys. If you're unlucky, you get one of those in the face. He likes playing opposite to this guy, so he might... Yeah, he did. Phase two? Yep. Clone? Clones always... Blue. Killing them means you got less incoming damage to worry about. Pretty straightforward. Kill the clones. Bit slap the guy. I think you're right here. Spawn along with him. Now I'm predicting he'll be. Expecting that to go horribly. And back to my default attire. Kind of looks cool. I'm gonna keep the crown on. Uh, Egon could have been a... I could have summoned Egon if I wanted to. Um, oh, I didn't rest, did I? There we are. Right. Chicken Titan Knight's good for um, it's unique weapons or boss weapons.
Herald Tut, that's one of the starting classes. Ooh, we've got a cool hat. Another machete. That was it. That was the run for the bottom pile. It's understandable because this next bit is a bit rough. Two other hostile NPCs down here. Again, don't respawn. Good old fireball spam. And up there we got a bandit. But we're gonna get a shield first. Come on, this way. And then drop down here. Go up up see here. And then rinse and repeat. We well, just have cook creeps that do bleed damage. My shield, no man. This can go nasty. Back what I said about that bonfire. I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah. That's an official retraction. I take it back. It's good if you've got like a sorcery or archer build. You can just snipe them. Alright. Number of doggies here. And you've got crossbow to do it here. Oh, nice shot. That's how I invaded. So, I think it's just an item I picked up. Maybe I'm just being paranoid.
little bit of a rent. No, I don't think I did. Up ahead is the cleansing shrine bonfire for the Cathedral of the Deep. Just got one dude to eliminate first. While we're here. Slave Knight Girl, who's part of the, um, the DLC. I mean, we can we can we can start that way. Start the um, DLC. Also, new weapon. Handy for us because it is a whip, which I can't use just yet. I need 19 decks, but it does bleed damage. Wait, you've you've the same scent as that woman. You must be an action one. Tell me, don't go around sniffing women. You must be. Oh. <laughs> you don't know how long I've searched. Oh. Talk about melodrama. Oh. <laughs> One, I have a kindness to ask of you. Uh oh. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are ash, then it must be fire that you seek. of ash never fail. Just a moment, then. The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. What is it with everyone wanting to be touched? Maniacal laugh. <laughs> so everyone in this game has maniacal laughs. It's like evil villains. It's like an evil villain training convention or something.
Sorry, did I say something? Ah. Ah. Ah, have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn, the cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, ah, yes, of course. You're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Quick, go along the sweet... Okay. He's got nothing productive to say. So, we're going to head along here and... Like the bonfire, and then bail because this area is a little bit too. a little bit too high level for us right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spoil a little bit of um, the first part of Cathedral of the Deep. And then we'll call it a, we'll call it an end. We're gonna lock the first shortcut. And then we'll call it the end of the set, I think. Committed Sudoku. Actually, I'm wary about losing all these souls. I'm gonna level up. Bound to be invaded at some point. Might end up for two levels. If I remember rightly, what have I got? Let's have a quick look at my uh, little plan. I want to get Dex to about 18 in her. Welcome home, speak. Very well. Then touch take nuts. Uh, it's 12 at the moment. I've got one in achievement. I put one in luck. Just because. Farewell, Ashen One. Oh, and we've also got Nesta Shard. Ah, just one. Oh my! This coal is from the Undead Legion. Used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse special gems. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> so I can now do heavy sharp, refined, raw, fire. And poison, but I haven't got a poison gem yet. Pretty be careful. We'll have soon. Ah, well, that is good, wasn't it? Seven three. Six four. I think seven three is okay. Pretty be careful. Generally, want to roll with like um, 
a two to one ratio, I find. Oh, yeah, I need to get that, drop that pyromancy term off as well and get some pyro. Since I'm an idiot, I went to the wrong place. We might as well do that now. Almost if I intended to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. No. Ah, the iron. <laughs> yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I'm your tutor a little longer. <laughs> Be gone for long. What is it? <laughs> Let's spend some more souls, because Poison Mist, uh, Flash Sweat, which increases fire absorption, and then that boots the ore resistance, which is going to be handy. Do not be gone from that. I'm going to swap out Caressing Tears for the moment and put my other Fireball spell in there. the area around the outside of the uh, Cathedral of the Deep and then and, and a lot of shortcut and then I think that'll be it do some running now. Go straight through. It's kind of like Night of the Living Dead. You're going to get lots of uh, undead arising. Don't really stop the fight I think. Don't have to. They just keep coming anyway, so... Just follow the path I'm making. And ignore anything. You don't have to. Fight. Now this area... We may have to do a bit of fighting. It should let's just roll straight through them. He might have to fight, because he's gonna block the path. And go this way. Mind all these dudes. And there we are, made it. Yeah, we have a Grave Warden. Those are nasty enemies with bleed weaponry. Once lock on, stops misbehaving. Right. 
shortcuts over here. Ooh, that's what's in it. Before I get invaded, I want to head down here and open the shortcut, which is basically you kick that down. And someone wanted to bypass the shortcut and jump directly. Yeah, that's a kind of a fatal mistake. These guys keep me spawning. Lovely friend, the giant will just keep providing us of artillery support. Like so. Oh, is there any items left? Light of the Living Dead for now. Let's just finish off this area. Why you can stun up these guys? Or insta kill them, depending. So where that bit? where the um, guys were before we went up to the graveyard up there there's a little rock that pops through you just come through there hop down and that's where the shortcut leads and you go through that way right. I'm not set him off yet we're gonna go this way Come back here. Anyway, that's a bit we were down there before.
up here we have another titanite shard like so Guys, poison bite ring that resists increases your poison resistance, and that's everything. We just need to kill this guy here. Usually these guys don't respawn. Come up this way. Yep, bump our head. Tie that shard. Drop down. And here we are. Nice little route to pick up a few weapons. And back to Fire Link. Then talk, take it. Farewell, Ashen One. On that note, it's time to end this up. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good night. <laughs>